my time, my grind, promise I'm gonna do this right, open eyes, see the sign, now I give it all I Welcome back everybody to my playthrough of Ring of Honor, where I am going to try and make Ring of Honor a bigger promotion than TNA and WWE. Because what? Why? Because I like T. Because I like Ring of Honor. That's as simple as that. AJ Styles, you bastard! Why weren't you there? And oh, by the way, I can talk to all my workers. So, where is it? Where is it gone? Talk to worker. Uh, morale. Ah, oh, yeah, it's on morale. So there you go. I can click and talk to him. So it will tell me I work for two companies. My priorities are with New Japan and then Ring of Honor. He's happy with his world's many adventure. He doesn't hold any titles. He wants to book himself to get some momentum, incidents infecting morale, so you know I can see there have been incidents. What do I need to do to get to cult size? 47% in two regions of America. Okay. And then this is what happens, you know, it shows me some random profiles for people. So I'm just going to continue on. Uh, skip through to my next show, uh, unless if something interesting happens. April Hunter, Leo Von Dutch has fired. Jesus Christ, there's a lot of people getting fired around here. You should work for Ring of Honor. I'm not going to fire anybody yet. CMLL did a 71 rating. Anybody good? Not really. It should tell me who the pseudo hope. Volador Jr. Okay. New Japan. Again, another good rating from New Japan. They will be, they will just always do good ratings. I, from my from my experience playing this game, Japanese shows always do good ratings. Chris Hero. Oh, I forgot about Chris Hero when I was booking my last show. I shouldn't have done that. He did a all right rating in Japan. Anybody here I'm interesting? CML. Oh, I did a better show than CMLL. They're a bigger company than me as well, so that's not bad. Oh well, they Alberto El Patron did a good show. Juventud Guerrero did well. Chess man. Hmm. Alberto El Patron. I would like Alberto El Patron. I can, I can use Alberto El Patron, really. Dragon Gate did a good show. ICW. I wonder who, which companies are actually bigger than mine at the moment. So, oh, I'm ninth in the world. CMLL. Yeah, all the Japanese, the uh, two Mexican promotions. Dragon Gate USA isn't far off me, actually. And they're, a, they're an American company, so I should be careful about them. TNA is a long way ahead, so I'm gonna have to really put some effort in to get better than them. I'm not all that fussed about people signing with Global Force Wrestling at the moment because even if they, even if people who work for me do sign for that company, I'm a bigger company, so their priority will be with me. Have I already? Yes, I've already. Cons I've already got you on my decisions somewhere, haven't I? Yeah. It's Samoa Joe signs. Ha ha. I'm in business. Anyway, let's continue on so I can get to book my next show. Oh my good god, there's a lot of news stories going on here. TNA final rest. Oh, TNA hired Austin Aries was the star of the show. But So it was rated 66. Ah, fuck. That's going to be difficult to beat. Pay-per-view appearances, 0.89. Attendance, 9,000. 9,000? Well, I suppose it's a pay-per-view. Bobby Roode defeated Magnus. Uh, well, no, he didn't. He drew with Magnus. Jeff Hardy defeated Tyrus. Taron defeated Varen Firebolt Sky. Anybody doing any good ratings? Matt Hardy and Rhino did a good rating for them. EC3 defeated Gunner. Austin Aries defeated Bobby Lashley. 58 wasn't the big biggest show on the match, though. Storm, def uh, Storm James Storm and Abyss defeat the American Wolves. That was a good rating. Jesse defeated Rockstar Spud, Crazy defeat Crazy Steve defeated Garrett Bischoff, and the Freak defeated Bram and Nux. Mmm, okay, interesting. TNA Final Resolution, that wasn't a bad show actually, from their point of view. Anybody else? FIP, now these guys seem to be seem to be firing a lot of guys. Trent Beretta, yeah, did a good rating, but not good enough for me to really consider anybody. New Japan, I couldn't sign anybody from there anyway because I'm too big. Mm, again, I'm not really competing with Noah yet. PCW, Preston City Wrestling, that's English. So, mm, they did an alright rating, but they're not anybody I'm considering. Do, 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 do. I am Ring of Honours, Vince McMahon. Oh, yeah, of course. Monday Night Raw, the star of the show is Randy Orton. Okay. TCW, 2CW in Cold Blood. Bubba Ray Dudley. Well, that's a point. I forgot about Bubba Ray Dudley. And oh, both Dudleys are in this company. Where are they? Squared Circle Wrestling. Okay. 
Ben Hammond. Mm, Colin Delaney. Defeated Big Business. Slick Wagner. Defeated Jay Freddy. Okay, that's, that's a decent show, actually. And I just realised it's as good as my show. No! I can't let that happen. Oh, shit. Is this Dragon Gate? No, this is a J Japanese version of Dragon Gate. I need to be careful about that, because that's a Japanese version of Dragon Gate. Monday Night Raw, 84 rating. Okay, that did well. The Van Andel Arena in Great Lakes, 10,000 sellout. Seth defeated Orton. Mm, okay, Dean Ambrose defeated Kane. Roman Reigns defeated Heath Slater. <laughs> well, I guess. <laughs> Why wouldn't he be? Okay, well, things are things are happening. Let's continue. Samoa Joe. Ah, good. Let's complete the contract. And let's also bring in Matt Bentley. Otherwise, it's a useless signing. Oh, Friday Night Smackdown happened. Randy Orton was a star. Okay, so it looks like they're going with Randy Orton all out. Henry and Big Show defeated Orton and Ambrose. Odd match. Dolph Ziggler defeated Kane. Okay, that's a good rating. Cameron defeated Brie Bella. Not surprised that they did a bad rating. They haven't done their hashtag Give Divas a Chance movement, which, by the way, they're blowing at the moment. I've noticed the Divas have been han having longer matches on WWE, but they're currently blowing them by not being amazing. They need to be. They need to be pulling out a lot more stops than that if they've been given a chance. Eric Rowan and Zack Ryder, my God. Curtis Axel defeated Zack and Rose. Okay, so mm, most of it was GBD. GBG, I don't even know. Anybody good? Not really. Dragon Gate Hellhole. Unfortunately, that was another good rating. I need to try and catch them up a bit. Lucha Underground hasn't beaten me. De Johnny Mundo defeated Rikishi. Okay. Chavo Guerrero. They've got some pretty decent names there, anyway. Explosion. Uh, again, I did a better rating on ex than the Explosion. But I need to be better than their Impact Show. That's the thing. Not. Explosion. Explosion is really, really useless to me. Any emails? Jay Briscoe has been offered a job by Global Force. That's not surprising since Global Force, like I said, is basically buying anybody. Yes, not that bad. 59. So that's probably going to be better than what I can manage. Unless if I have Samoa Joe. If I have Samoa Joe, I can do a better rating than that, I think. Anyway, who's not here? I forgot. Oh shit! I'm going to the I'm going to Puerto Rico. Oh, that's not good. That's going to be a really small crowd. Bobby Fish is elsewhere. Carl O'Reilly, the Young Bucks are elsewhere. AJ's elsewhere, and Samoa Joe is injured. But he's available for angles. Okay. How many people are going to turn up in Puerto Rico? Two thousand. Oh, okay. But I can't do any promos because they don't speak the language. Who do I have? Let's say Mick Carter's AC8. Oh, Adam Page. Don't want to use the who again. Caprice Coleman. Heels to go against you. BJ Whitmer. Hmm. No, I want to use you somewhere else because Jimmy Jacobs. Matt Michaels. Let's bring in Matt Michaels and have him win a strong. Have him win strong to begin with. That's my plan. To get you established. Keep strong. And script, because I don't think Caprice Common can call a match in the ring. I'm an idiot. Silas, was it Silas Young? Yes, it was Silas Young. He can call a match in the ring. So, no, I'm going to save him for a little bit later. Jimmy Jacobs, can you call a match in the ring? No, Hanson. I should use Hanson, actually. Hanson versus HGH. Is Hanson a face? Yeah, Hanson's a face. Okay, so heels. BJ Whitmer. Oh, that's an idea. BJ Whitmer versus Hanson, but BJ Whitmer would have to win. Cliff Compton. Can he call a match in the ring? Nope. Jimmy Jacobs. No. Matt Michaels. Lower. QT Marshall. Yeah. RD Evans. No. Romantic Touch is set me. I could use me. What am I like? Psychology. Oh, actually, that's not a bad idea. Senseless. <laughs> Let's use. Let's do that. Handsome versus senseless. I need to put Chris Hero in a match with somebody else. Yes, Michael Bennett. That's it. That's who it's going to be. Michael Bennett. And I think I might have. I'm going to have Michael Bennett lose to Chris Hero. 
let's have a back let's have a beat down backstage two on one let's have that last eight minutes and let's have the bad influence or I mean the addiction Frankie Kazarian and Christopher Daniels by the way if anybody wants to like recommend any booking influence any like ideas in the comment section I'm more than open to your suggestions so if anybody wants to wants me to try something go right on ahead Just mention it in the comments and I'll see what I can do some other Joe <laughs> Uh -huh. Uh -huh. that's not a good idea um, Mark Briscoe being down by the addiction and let's go for my 18 minute match I'm gonna try that one Johnny Gargano versus Christopher Daniels is basically so popular he's the only real option I've got so anyway we're gonna run the show uh, this is my opening Matt Michaels oh, bad rating but with a super kick he had solid in action uh, Matt Michaels defeated Caprice Coleman by pinfall with a super kick in a bout that had, that had solid in action but non-existent crowd heat Hanson defeated senseless by pinfall with a super kick uh, in a match that had an average crowd reaction with some decent in-ring action, Chris Hero defeated Michael Bennett by in 9 minutes and 10 seconds by pinball with a hangman's clutch face buster. Maria Kellis Kanellis did good work at ringside, they have great chemistry. Considering both guys are rated, what, 20 in popular popularity, that 53 rating is good. That is a very good rating. BME versus Johnny Gargano, Johnny Gargano, 58 rating. I don't think this show is going to be rated 52, 52. Am I going to have made any money off that show? Oh, oh, it's NXT TakeOver. The feedback has been, the show went down really well. Okay, my show went down really well. Ring of Honor Wrestling, 52. NXT Wrestling, I beat them quite a lot. Quite easy. Sammy Zayn defeated Rick Victor. Okay. NXT TakeOver Evolution. Ooh, I drew with TakeOver Evolution. Okay, Adrian Neville defeated Tyson Kidd, that was a good rating. Finn Balor defeated Solomon Crow, Conor O'Brien. Not using Kevin Owens though, are they? Which was a big mistake. And I think that's going to be it for this episode. Here we go ladies and gentlemen, we have Shawn Michaels and The Rock starting us off here. And look at that from Shawn Michaels, what an atomic draw. Here we go. Oh, that was a drop by her heartbreak kid. And remember, all of this is for a shot at Bray Wyatt and the...